Neural oscillations, which can be recorded with for example electroencephalography or EEG, reflect synchronous activity of a large group of neurons. Brain oscillations occur at different frequencies, which reflect distinct functional properties. In the motor cortex, for example, mu and beta rhythms can be observed, which are both tightly linked to motor cortex activation and resulting muscle responses. Furthermore, it has been suggested that neural activity can be coupled to specific phases within the brain oscillations. My colleagues and I from the University of Minnesota developed an algorithm to analyze oscillation phase of motor cortical mu and beta rhythms in real time and simultaneously probe motor cortex excitability by using transcranial magnetic stimulation or TMS. Reading out and analyzing brain oscillations in real time allows to find a causal link between an oscillation phase and the motor cortex to muscle activation. However, Usually, such analyses take up multiple seconds, making it impossible to target brain oscillations in a millisecond range. The algorithm we developed, coined as the Educated Temporal Prediction Algorithm, is trained on a person's individual brain oscillation pattern in a resting state measurement. This allowed us to speed up the online analysis in the range of a couple of milliseconds and instantaneously target the peak, the trough, the rising phase and the falling phase of the motor cortex mu and beta rhythms. In a double-blind, within-subject study, data from 20 healthy volunteers was collected. Our data show that there is a significant phase relationship for both mu and beta oscillations in the motor cortex. Strikingly, this phase relationship was opposite for both rhythms. The largest motor cortex to muscle responses were observed when TMS was applied at the trough and the rising phase of the mu oscillation. But for the beta rhythm, the largest responses were observed when the oscillation was at the peak or the falling phase. Our results show that the phase of a cortical oscillation is crucial for determining the excitability of the brain. Furthermore, this relationship is distinct for different frequencies. Thus, considering phase is important if TMS is to be used optimally. And taking phase into account may potentially improve the efficacy of TMS in a therapeutic setting for the treatment of neurological and psychiatric disorders.